So one example that I've got here is a, a machine that I've built that goes on the railway line, and that takes scans of the insides of railway tunnels. What we do is uh, we take giant panoramic images using a line scan camera, which is this, and we take lots of stripes of pictures along the length of the tunnel, and then we stitch them together into something like this. And we can use image recognition to pick out where there are things like cracks and mortar loss and things like that. And we can do this over time and track what the changes have done uh, in, in the tunnel. What exactly has that got to do with sports? Um, well, I didn't know this until quite recently. At the ends of races, when they're very, very close, like when we have our 0 0.005 seconds between the final two people, uh, you can't separate that with the human eye. It's impossible to see it. So how exactly is it done? Well, on the finish line, you have a line scan camera that's looking directly across the finish line. It doesn't take a picture which is along the track and across the track. It's only looking across it with respect to time. So as your athletes or your cars or your bikes move across the line scan camera, it takes a series of very, very close pictures, one pixel wide, and the distance between each of those pixels is the time between the two finishers.